Hey guys, Tactical. I just pulled back here to finish taking down the rest of the fencing and the rest of the stuff from the sheep. We just ran them through this whole area over here, but I figured I would show these guys. These are my redneck approved non step in step in posts. Yes, they're homemade. And yes, they are well worth it. Um, I got a bunch of these guys from Premier One. I forget what exactly they call them. It's like the power something pose. But these are pretty good. They're very flexible. But I will walk over here and show you the problem. Those three I had over there just because I needed to throw up some fencing in a hurry just to keep the sheep from coming back this direction so i just grabbed three of those and tossed them over there and didn't have to worry about trying to find a place that wasn't a rock slab to be able to put a step in post because you can see right there all that moss there's a reason all up along here mostly just moss growing because this is all pretty much a rock slab like right here so you can see that that's all one big rock that's the same rock that's the same rock that's the same rock like basically from right about there all the way up over to there, all the way up over there, all the way over there, and all the way over there. That's all rock. That is exactly how deep I can put a step in post in right here. Literally that far. So it's about two and a half inches. So having something on a cinder block i can just toss it on top and it actually works remarkably well i was thinking about not where i thought i was i gotta go all the way over here i was thinking about doing that with a t-post and some bagged concrete but i figured that was going to be a little heavier than what i wanted because right here you can kind of see that mess right there it was a lot worse i wanted to run the fence line right there but that stuff was so bad i wound up running it over here so i lugged two of these guys through there dropped this one here and i dropped another one right there because the soil's only about an inch or two deep right there and I mean, this is all one rock shelf with, you know, an inch or two of soil. It gets a little bit deeper up over there, but not by much. But the advantage to this is I was actually able to carry that through there. And then another advantage to this is if you use a T-post and you've got a line attached higher up, it's basically going to act like a lever, whereas this, I'm just going to grab the top and start to pull, and I'm watching the cinder block, and it's not moving. Okay, I've got this pulled over, over 90 degrees, and that cinder block didn't move until I let go, and it kind of wobbled a little bit. So... And that's because there's nothing on that back little corner over there. But it's very stable. I mean, I can pull the other direction too. And it just, aside from that one little corner, it's not really moving. If I had that somewhere flat, it wouldn't move at all. <clears throat> so it's light enough I can lug it around. The post doesn't act like a lever. And then... To actually make these things, all I did 
was take a sawzall with a metal blade and right here I cut the bottom off and laid well I'll just show you I stood the block on end like this laid the post up here took a masonry bit and drilled two holes all the way through the post and the cinder block and then these are two and a half inch number 10 machine screws with washers and then on the inside it's got a washer and a nylon lock nut and the two and a half inch screws were just long enough this one's not quite all the way through you can see the tip of the bottom one so the bottom one was like perfect so high in sight two and three quarters would have been a little bit better i don't even know if they make that size i might have had to go on up to a three inch but anyway these things are making my life a lot easier so this area is actually not bad compared to some of the spots where I'm running the sheep. But you can tell, I mean, just from the size of that rock, I had not made these. Well, actually, this spot was what got me off the edge on actually making those. I managed to get one, I found one spot somewhere over here where there was like a crack in the rock or something and i managed to get a post in far enough and i guess wedged in between the rock and it was stable enough to run the wire and then i made those and threw two of them over here just to span this rock so anyway i will do a much more in-depth view on how I'm running the fencing for these guys because I have not really found anybody talking about running electric fence anywhere that's not flat and square and perfect and great soil. Nobody talks about what to do when you can't put a step in post in or uneven terrain and that type of thing so anyway i'm gonna want to get this stuff loaded up and get out of here so till next time guys bye